Yapa LA322 lever action rifle. Right here today playing with a new rifle new to me. We saw them back at the SHOT Show of uh, 2016 back in January. This is the uh, Chiapa LA322 lever action rifle. I got a couple of versions of it here. This one with the hard chrome finish and the uh, black soft touch over wood stock is called the Kodiak Cub. This one here with the uh, case colored finish on the receiver, blue barrel, uh, plain wood on it is called the uh, just the LA322 standard rifle. Both of these work the same, they operate the same, so we're going to shoot both of them, demo them a little bit. A couple of things that I really like about it, when I first saw it, like most people do, it looks like a Marlin 39 rifle, which has been out of production for a few years now. Hopefully someday Marlin will bring it back. Dandy little rifle. But this, uh, on the external, it looks like it. Internally, they're different. Uh, I got some pictures to show you the differences inside with the two rifles, just the way that they're made. But it works just fine. Now, um, it comes apart just like the Marlin. I'm going to demo that for you. You loosen this screw right here. Cock the hammer a little bit. And it comes right apart for getting their maintenance. You'll notice this has a module here for the feed and lifter system, which the Marlin does not. It's got those controls on the other side of the gun, but works really well. Uh, feeding cartridges from the magazine, which this magazine holds uh, 15 rounds of 22 long rifle. Uh, it will also hold some uh, feed shorts in there if you want to shoot shorts out of it, which a lot of rifles won't do these days. Shorts hard to come by but it'll feed them if you got some. Feed them through there and work really well. Uh, some of the short loads on the market now are very quiet, but it feeds smoothly. The only one I had any hitches at all uh, feeding was some, uh, let's see, what was that? It was some PMC match ammo, and it didn't, it, it would go on feed, but I felt it hang just a little in one of these rifles, and the other one it didn't. Um, but they work really well. Like I said, this is wood here with a black soft touch on it, just like a uh, some other uh, those Kodiak rifles on the market. This Kodiak Cub is small, lightweight. They weigh in. Uh, the website says five and a half pounds. These two weighed in right at five and three quarter pounds. When it's taken apart, it's, uh, your longest piece is only 25 inches in length. Um, overall, put together, it's 36 inches in length. So it's a real handy little carbine. I love lever actions. They're my favorite type of action. And there's nothing as uniquely American as a lever action rifle. Of course, this this is uh, imported by Chiapa in Dayton, Ohio. It's made in Italy, which the Italians for many years have been making good lever action rifles to supply the American market. But it's got a nice tubular magazine. It's got the internal tube where it loads, loads through this port. Like most Tuber 22 rifles, you drop them in there and you're set to go. Um, the front side on it is hooded. Uh, this uh, front sight ramp and barrel band piece is an uh, aluminum unit. Uh, the receiver on this is some type of uh, aluminum or other non-ferrous alloy. Uh, it is grooved for a scope mount on top. Uh, Chopper website says it's grilled and tapped for scope mount. It is not, but it's grooved to accept tip-off uh, standard 22 type mounts. The sights on it are very good. Got a semi-buckhorn rear with a ladder adjustable and you can adjust it in the dovetail for windage correction but it's a dandy little rifle these are available now the Kodiak Cub uh, best I can determine couldn't find this on uh, Chiapa's website brand new rifle but um, uh, best I could determine the MSRP is around 800 just a little over $800 on it. but I've seen them online selling for about 610 so you can get them a little cheaper than the MSRP same on this other one this version here standard version with the uh, case colored finish is about $4.69. They also have a version that's deluxe, has checkering and a pistol grip stock if you prefer that. But these are, uh, of course, they're selling for less than MSRP. Well, check them out. They're really accurate. Let me show you some groups I got here. We'll go for pictures of them, but this is just some of the groups I fired at 25 yards. The uh, arms core stuff particularly did really well. Uh, grouped, uh, uh, this group shown here, 9 16th. Best group I had with that was right at a half inch. But uh, the rifle shoots well, and that's using the open sights. And I'm not good with open sights anymore. But I was using a good rest from Target Shooting Incorporated. Uh, help, help me hold the gun steady and had some good sunlight on it. But with a scope, I'm sure I could do better, and you could too. So the real accurate rifles, they're reliable, they're rugged, they're dependable, they're a lever action. They'll shoot about any type of uh, 
22 short, long, or long rifle. And uh, so check them out at chiapafirearms.com. If you want to find a Chiapa dealer in your area, go to lipsies.com. Click on the dealer finder there for uh, good ammo. You can buy it online about anywhere now. Uh, 22 long rifle ammo. Is, it's available now. It's not as cheap as it was three years ago before uh, people started uh, buying all they could. But um, it is available. Still cheaper than about anything else you can shoot. So it's a, a good dandy rifle. Everybody needs a good 22 in their battery. And one like this is hard to beat. One thing I really like about a lever action rifle is you can still shoot fairly rapidly, but you can cycle ammo that you can't cycle through a semi-automatic rifle, um, such as this CCI Quiet Ammo, which is a, it's a, a 40 grain bullet, but it's moving relatively slow. It's good for small pests and things around. If you live in a neighborhood where you're, you know, uh, you get a lot of extra attention by firing off a rifle, these are fairly quiet, but they'll still do the job if you got something giving you a problem around the house. Not much louder than an air rifle, but you're shooting a 40 grain bullet. Another cartridge I really like, if you got to be very quiet around the home or whatever, uh, shoot some things, this 20 grain uh, a Gila Super Calibri cartridge. It shoots 20 grain at around 700 feet per second, so it don't make much racket, but it's, uh, uh, it's handy for small pests and rodents, things like that, racks in the barn or whatever you need to shoot. And don't need to make a lot of noise or destroy anything. These are, uh, make almost no noise, but it's a, a short cartridge built on 22 short case. That's another thing these rifles cycle that uh, uh, semi-automatics just won't do. We get asked about Gun Blast merchandise every now and then. You can see them wearing a gunblast.com cap. We also have some uh, t-shirts available that are different design than this. They have hoodies, long sleeve, all kind of stuff. But click on our store link at uh, gunblast.com. Right up near the top there's a link to our Gun Blast store. Makes me a little bit of money, not much, but enough to keep us running a little bit. So anybody who's wanting any Gun Blast merchandise, click on the store link and uh, select your size, color, whatever you need. and, and uh, Thanks for shopping with us.